Hello, everybody. Dr. David Startouch here, and I'm I had just finished recording, trying again. Let's say you're new to Star Citizen and you want a more immersive experience, or maybe like you're me, when you first started, you found your space game and you decided, I want to dive in. I want to play with a joystick. Or you've been playing for a while and you're ready to take it that version up. Well, the good news is the controls have updated, so some of the keyboard and mouse can be just as good as sticks are not required. In fact, I would say the precision you get with a mouse is incredible. However, we have now completed, we, me, have now set up with Survivor to Hero. I've got all of these joystick configurations available for you with a click of a button. You can download all of the Thrustmasters and the Logitechs, and they mix and match. And we have unified. That's what this video hopefully here is going to be. I've unified the standard, and I have cheat sheets and walkthroughs. But not just are they in each file. You will be able to quickly go to your phone or your iPad like I did, uh, earlier today because my printer was not working and I was able to pull it up just like so. Pretty cool, huh? All right, so we have the uh, Logitech right here. This is the hands-on stick and mouse. So that is one hand on a uh, mouse, one hand on the stick. So I'm still doing my missiles. I put roll on the stick so because that's one thing people forget. Uh, so we've got hands on stick and mouse, and I'm going to go over all of these. These should actually work in 3.23 uh, pretty well. I have master modes on them. And then we've got the hands on stick. So hands on stick is your a mouse replacement. And that means uh, we've also got roll here, so that's nice. You can get a little more immersion that way. But your right group, pinky, or side, left group, those are your weapons. And your middle, which press that down, you get mouse or sorry, missile mode. Those have been all moved to the stick. And then we've got our up down. That is the hat switch. So now you've basically got it, your things figured out right there. If you want some of the extra throttle bonus, you can just do the hands-on stick and mouse. One stick does you just fine. Get the Logitech if your but money's really tight. You want to just try it out and give it to a friend when if you decide to upgrade more or sell it to them. It's 30 to 40 bucks, 33 right now on Amazon, 40 is their retail for this stick. The Thrustmaster, the qual build quality is better, it's solid, it's really heavy um, ish. Well, it's right and left handed, it's got a little switch down here, and then you can just move the thing to the side. These go for 70 to 80. You can get two Logitechs for this. So the Logitech has. I'm, I've got two. One is dropped, and I've had to repair it twice because I've dropped it twice, and it broke each time. Um, I probably dropped it. Maybe it fell off the desk, but I think that time was a, it was a real fall off the desk. Um, it doesn't didn't quite go back together the same. doesn't quite feel the same. I may, might have to take it apart and see if I, maybe a, a spring or something's slightly out of alignment. Uh, you're going to get what you pay for. The Logitech is the best budget. The Thrustmaster is the second best budget. If you really are into sticks, save up your money and get the VKBs. Uh, that review is coming. Uh, my uh, second command sending the right stick back to me. Uh, she loves her Logitech, and she doesn't want to use the VKV. And given the way the controls are, you don't really have to. But I, I, oops, ah, I printed these out, and they're going to keep them up to date. So with the hosts, and this is the hands-on stick, I'll go over this real quick, um, the basics, because they're all unified now. So it doesn't matter if I'm holding up the Thrustmaster or if I'm holding up the Logitech. Uh, it's going to be basically the same features. So we've got a slider throttle, okay? And then you've got your... The Thrustmaster has six buttons on each side. You've got a hat switch, and it has three here and one here. So for those who want to do math, you get eight on the stick and you get 12 on the bottom. The Logitech has 10 on the top of the stick and six on the bottom. You lose four, but these ones aren't that convenient where like the, the VKB and the, the Verbals, all those controls, the 30 something are right on the stick. Um, so you're not really getting a huge benefit by going Thrustmaster button wise. So don't think about it that way. Just you're getting the Thrustmaster to get a Thrustmaster. The Logitech for the it has a little bit of play right here. The Thrustmasters doesn't. It's build quality solid each time. Now we have uh, the same slider, which I use for mining. You've got a twist, which same. 
forward back. That's it. Just feels a little. It, it feels a lot stiffer uh, compared just the way it works. These are both ball and cup, um, so same kind of sensors. And then you've got a thumb button, trigger button, four here and a hat. So that's your eight. So you got one, two, three, four buttons with four-way hat, nine and ten. So ten total, eight on the top. This has eight total, four on the hat, one, two, three, and the trigger. That's eight. But it has six on the side here, and that has six on the side. So that's just two buttons. What do we do with them? Well, here's the fun part. And I'm going to use the Logitech to explain this, because I did the Logitech first, and I just really liked the way it's set up. So let's go back to the Logitech screen. So fire group one. Fire Grip 2. If you want to get an extra button back, you can set this to fire all the trigger. And this will also fire your missiles when you're in missile mode. And when you're in scanning mode, it'll scan. Uh, those are universal. The mouse wheel, again, so that's the hat switch up and down. That replaced that. Mouse wheel, you press the button down, you get missile mode. So this is, again, mouse replacement. Missile mode is this bottom one on here. But for the Thrustmaster, I didn't have room for missile mode, so I had to put it on the side. So missile mode, I just drop my finger down, and so from here, boom. Or just got it, right? So you'll notice the six are right here, but uh, for the Thrustmaster, we have target lock, target unlock, group two is the thumb, group one is the fire, and then we've got our missile control up here. If we go back to the Logitech, we've got lock target is on the left side right here, easy where it's easiest for the thumb. So the top is lock, the bottom is unlock. And in missile mode, which again is the right thumb, and above that is countermeasures. We had an extra one, so that's panic launch. Someone's firing missiles or EM, or heat seeking EM, or maybe even, I'm not sure if it blocks cross section, but it fires a bunch. And so that's there. Um, that I put on the hoe sass for the Thrustmaster, but you would also, you'd put it on the side. And um, if you want to do that. Now, if you're using a hands-on stick, then you can just go over and hit the, the countermeasure you want. This is just for immersion and fun. Let's talk about these buttons here, the six on the side. All right, so we've got the outer rim, the outer one's here. On a Thrustmaster, they're the front ones. So on the outer ones, we've got your open the doors. So we've got open door, lock, unlock doors, lock, unlock ports. So if the ship is not soft death or it's an engineer, you want to make sure the ports are unlocked so they can take stuff off. Or if you're <clears throat> going to pirate someone, you haven't killed their ship, uh, you or they're not paying attention, you can unlock the ports and still stuff. Now, if the ship was locked, you couldn't have got, gotten in in the first place. This is really helpful to have uh, just to, instead of looking around to trying to find those with the F key in the mouse. The in inner target nearest friend, or sorry, target nearest hostile, target nearest attacker, that's the middle, and then the front is target nearest friendly. So I wanted to be able to target nearest friendly sometimes for the pinning and whatnot. It just makes it easier to do that. And we did the same thing for the Thrustmaster. We just did it here. So uh, the only thing I really had to move over is for the Thrustmaster, I might put a panic launch over here, like one of the two. But I wanted to give you leave you five open to figure out what you wanted to do. So, but again, uh, we've got our uh, open doors. That's on the outside, toggle doors. And then you've got lock and, and then the ports. And then you've got uh, the same idea of... Nearest hostile. Did I do that backwards? Closest friendly is right next to the doors. Okay. Maybe I did. Either way, I like the the setup though. Friendly. Uh, I just set it up for uh, the friendlies on the outside. The attacker is in the middle. The hostile's there. And then for the doors, um, I wanted to make it. I'm probably going to hit the open doors more. So I want to just have that there, but locked, unlock ports. I want to lock, lock ports to be a little harder to hit. 
All right, so that's pretty much it. That's the the hands-on stick, and then the this is going to be your mining up and down. Again, your hat switch on your right stick is anything from mining energy to your SEM. It's a mouse replacement. But what about the standardization of the throttle? I don't actually use a throttle myself. Um, it's a uh, because I don't, I, I lent my other one to my friend and it was a verbal, but I was just using two sticks. I like two sticks personally. The problem with the Thrustmaster throttle, I'm going to say the negative on it first. It is the most poorly built next to the rudders. Do not get the pedals. Do not get the rudders. They're, they're really bad. Um, it slides funny. Uh, it's not heavy enough in my opinion. But the amount of buttons you have in the, thr in the Thrustmaster world, this is cool. And to get the really nice Thrustmaster stuff, you gotta spend so much money, it's stupid. Um, like, more than Verples. Just buy Verples, don't buy the expensive Thrustmaster. Buy this, the budget Thrustmaster, if you want. But, okay, so here is the, this setup is different. So with this, you're gonna see we have hat switches that are packed, which give you four. So this castle switch, that's a thumb guard, and I call this the pyramid hat. And then up top, We've got a like a controller joystick. It's an analog stick. And then you've got uh, two buttons, an outer button, inner button. Uh, this is a two-way button, so a push-up, pull-down. This is an axis, the roll left and right. And uh, then we've got a, a dial. And uh, then the whole thing slides. All right. So I'm going to go over these real quick because these are, I well, Logitech does have a throttle. It is so poorly built, uh, the Extreme Pro throttle. I, I couldn't. I, I, I bought it, and I was like, no, I can't even do a review on this. This is terrible. Um, it was almost, it, it was, it's 50 bucks, uh, but it were 40. It just, it just, it felt like you got what you paid for. So we have the explanations about what things do on the left side of these, where I might go into a little more detail, where on the right... I try to keep it simple so you know what it is. If you're using a HOTAM, so that's hands-on throttle and mouse, which is a good idea. You do get precision. You still have your speed limiter here. Uh, your right and your left is great. And uh, we're going to zoom out a little bit so we can see this. Uh, this pedal here. I set it to roll. This is a rudder, I guess. And I say pedal, but it's a rudder in a way. So... It's an axis. I think this is the Z rotation axis. And this is the Z axis. Uh, this is a dial. And there, the, there's an, this is the X and the Y. Calibrating this, I had to use the Thrustmaster software. It's, it's weird. Um, it's not fun to calibrate, but it works. All right, let's go through the controls real quick. Um, because they're not as, they are going to be standardized. Like I said, you can mix and match. Uh, with ease. So this is the HOTAS setup. You would open the HOTAS and steal the throttle from one of the ones. And I'm going to add an HOT. But with this guide here, you know exactly what things are set up for. So you can just literally use this to recreate your own um, without having to download if you need. to. If you're having trouble with the downloads or getting the setups, this I hope should help. It's taken me so many hours. <laughs> Days, days. It has taken me days <laughs> to do these. Um, just working in an Acrobat alone, but also figure, figuring out a solid um, flight system that I think is going to last and support um, through the way. So what I do like about the throttle is it's really going to give you an idea of some combat maneuverability. And I have another video coming with that. So here we go. We've got the main slider I need to zoom in uh well yeah let's get so we can see this okay so the main slider this is your zero to 100 it's set for absolute zero is off 100 you do not want absolute relative that's something completely different you want absolute and that's what this is set for throttle forward absolute well wait a minute star how do i go backward great question because this is assume you're going forward that's the pinky buttons for. So you're going to see it says outside red button, invert straight forward backward. That is this button right here next to the dial. And 
it is going to, when you press it, it's going to throw you into reverse right away based off whatever throttle power you're giving it. Now, when you hit down to zero and it starts going the opposite direction, you can let go and it should then put you going forward, whatever percentage this is. So um, it's a little funky, but as you fly with it, you'll get used to it. They can also hold it, go back down to zero and then push up again and you're 100% you're in reverse without holding it and then tap it again if you want to go forward. It's it's basically a forward reserve, reverse toggle, but you might have to hold it to get the results that you're looking for in the moment. So just play with it. It'll make perfect sense. Now, radar ping, because we don't have night vision, I put it really close here. Something super easy to get to. And press hold, press hold, press hold. But I also listed hold and release because they did change it. So there's things like that. This is in red the acceleration limiter, because it is not the speed limiter, okay? Um, they need to fix their name because the acceleration limiter, they, they call the speed limiter in the control area. So CIG, you got a goof here. You're being inconsistent. This is the velocity limiter, not the speed limiter. <laughs> so it's the acceleration limiter. What this means, it's a fuel choke. So this is like one of those little, I don't know if you've, now, this is ages like carburetors, whatnot. How much gas is getting in to the engine? So you're cutting the fuel to the thrusters. So here's how this works. And it's super cool. I'm going to demonstrate this in a video, but I'm going to go over real quick. Uh, because this is going to give you a really good idea of um, various controls and how you might configure the other sticks to do different things. Like you could actually set this to be the bottom lever on your other one, because I didn't use it on both. If you're using HOSAS, you could set it to this and then get the same effect as this dial. So good to know. All right, zero. you want 100% almost all the time. That means your thrusters have 100% possible power. Drop this down, even no matter what maneuver you do, any turn, it doesn't matter what your power, how much power your throttle has here, you're giving it all you can, but this drops it to 50, to 10, to whatever. And so then the throttle has to work within relative of what it has. So here's the cool thing. I'm going 100 and I'm going 1345 meters per second in a 345 or 350, sorry, 350R. It's one of the fastest ships out there. It's super fun. And I want to just, I drop this thruster all the way down. There are the acceleration limiter. Sorry, I'm max thruster, but then I suddenly just drop this down. I'm now going in the straight line. No, I'm not uncoupled. I am not uncoupled. It is still just going. I can't turn. It's like a dead stick. So I'm just going one direction. I'm floating through space. Now, if I turn it up a little bit, just a tiny bit, I could even then just do a little baby moves and maneuvers. And that's kind of where the fun is. You can leave your full speed and adjust this as you like. If you're in gravity, you're dropping like a stone because you don't have the bottom thruster power to keep you up. So it's a space only thing. They were using it for hover mode. That's what this was put in for. They may get rid of it altogether. Who knows? Um, now you know what that acceleration throttle limiter is, how much thrust you're getting. It will be very good for stealth mode though because you could turn your thruster power in down and ease in uh, like you're uncoupled. But your thrusters, just to, even if you fire your thrusters, you're not going to light up like a Christmas tree. All right, so yeah. Anyway, this has got a this. I made this up down, and then you press it, the button, and you can go to camera mode to navigate. Uh, you can use these for acceleration limiter if you want, or sorry, speed limiter if you wanted to, um, and free up something if you're using a uh, um, the mouse, or if you're using the other configuration. You would you want to get your up down and do it for something different? You can use the the this for the this for the speed limiter. All right, so uh, simple up down. I did a pull up for like a handbrake and resets your SEM. Push down for a boost. You got your radar pings, and then with the hats here, I did a few different things. We did decoy by pressing up forward for noise because uh, this is where they would be on the side of the six there. You could just press the keyboard to go decoupled but I made it go back that way in case you accidentally decoupled. Worst case, if you didn't want to decouple, you'd launch a decoy if you press the wrong way. It can take a little while to get used to the way this works. 
um, just the orientation. Once you get it, you get it. Now, the thumb guide, it fits your thumb perfectly. So I called it the thumb guide. And if we go over here, that's what it is. Thumb guide, round pyramid. Uh, panic launch is going to fire your countermeasure, your noise, and your uh, decoys. And I don't know if I love that or not, but <laughs> that's how that part works. So um, I usually do them individually, but so you can get that back if you want to just uh, press panic or decoy, and then you get another hat back. The middle for the thumb, up for weapons max, your triangle, down for power, forward for shields, back for engines. Now, if you do these download these configurations, I actually put, if you're just using the keyboard, one is full power to shields, two is full power to, or sorry, one is power to weapons, two is shields, three is engines, four is reset. Same as here, but um, I'm if I'm using just a right stick, I have all the same things. So you download my config, be sure to import the keyboard. Shift one enters the turret, the remote turret. Shift two enters second remote turret, shift three. And then alt one, alt two, alt three lets you uh, assign a um, pin targets. And then the whole F keys, we got those freed up from my other setup from moving the shield things and lets you access the pins. So lots of cool things in the keyboard. The combat thing will go in deeper dive. Um, and then the most importantly for this, we've got the changing configuration. So you've got your press down for um ah uh, master mode this is the, for the new 323 but you can go in arena commander and try this now we'll do that in the combat video and then uh i just kind of set all the core things you need so oh wait towards you is landing is a request permission to land press up if you're like in a corsair or uh to fold the wings in or a scorpius or a whole c to extend it out change the configuration and then forward is vtol and landing gear i combine them and then if you push the little button on the side, that will activate your quantum drive. And if you hold it, it'll activate the quantum drive. So that's a hands-on throttle or hands-on throttle and stick. You can mix and match these. You could get a throttle and a Logitech and you can use them. You can have a, a, a Thrustmaster and a Logitech and use them. You could, uh, the, I only have these set up for two. I do not have hot SAS, hands-on throttle stick and sticks. Um, you can set that up using these can these because you're going to get more buttons available, but you're going to have to move things around. So I, my brain cannot handle that. Your configuration, I have enough on my own configurations. So uh, that is basically what's here. And if you click on any one of these pictures, it will take you to the website uh, for like Thrustmasters. So you can read more about them. Do not. Yeah, well, you can install the software for the calibration, I guess, but I don't. Well, yeah, okay, hold on. 169, that shows you what it is. Oh, it's so expensive. 169 for this uh, this setup, and I, 80 bucks for this, okay. Uh, uh, I, this is not built well enough. You're better off getting two of these sticks. It'll last you forever. This throttle is, um, it's just the way it moves. It does not feel great. And uh, then we've got the dual. They often sometimes offer a discount on these. Yeah, right now, 129. There you go, two sticks. Usually they're 80 each, uh, they, or they, they are 80 each. And you can get the duo, that's the right and the left, it's the same. They both come with ambidextra. So you're just getting um, the two sticks here. And as you can see, did I put them at the, oh, the links wrong? I'll fix that. Anyway, uh, it's 80. And um, I'll have to grab that link later and adjust it. It did not save in the last update. You can download all the Thrustmaster files right here. It'll just drop it in wherever you want to save it there. And then, um, or you can download the, the Logitech and the Thrustmaster. And I include blanks too. So uh, in another video, I'm going to show how to get these set up and whatnot. I just want you to know uh, this is... Uh, how to install the configs. That's what this video is. This video is right here is one recording how they are standardized so you can see what they are. And I'm going to be adding the VKBs and eventually my Verpal setup. Uh, if you're interested in doing the referral code or anything, we have a free fly and you would like to use our code, uh, feel free to do that. I put this for other people. This is not my personal code. This is uh, 
uh, one of my officers and we just when we get enough referrals of a thousand referrals on this code and that person gets a javelin we just do it for another person and we're going to keep rotating as the the organization grows until all the leadership as if depending on how referrals go uh has uh javelins so we're we already have a javelin i i bought one and I've got every major ship to do coaching and training, which is what Survivor Hero is about, but positive mental health. That's my big passion. All right. So anyway, uh, like, subscribe. Tell me if this is helpful. Let me know if you find any errors. Um, if it's an easy thing, I'll fix it. And uh, I will eventually get them all fixed. These are going to stay. This is, I'm very excited. This is working as it is. This area right here will be the Thrustmaster combat videos in which we'll do deep dives. I'll probably have another video I'll put here, uh, maybe right there, for the Logitech uh, combat video and explain all the things so you can see it in, in the pluses and minus and do a deeper dive on that. And I've got my VKB throttle back there, but I don't have the right stick yet. So I might do the Ho Sam when I have a chance, And but I'm using my Verpals uh, I will get the host SAS Verpal set up over there and see if I can duplicate it. I'm not, everyone tends to customize Verpals their own way, but I will try to follow the same pattern here. And because they do not have these six buttons like this, they use hat switches, uh, a bunch of them. And I, I love it. So they also have, uh, very similar multi-stage, uh, triggers. Uh, we'll do a bit separate video on that one too. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. I really appreciate you. Uh, Dr. David Startouch, founder of Survivor Hero, add, check us out in our Discord at the top. And if there's other videos or controls you would like to see, do let me know. I'm going to keep updating this. We will be looking for a marketing person, a, uh, let's see, marketing, recruiting, communications. There's a few other jobs that we're actually looking for in the org as we're developing. But um, yeah, we're going to have it basically be doing videos on other professions. We're training people and certifying them so people can use us as references. And it's a positive mental health community that will let people who don't even want to fly join and do all the fun stuff. Too. Oops. You come in. This is how the Logitech broke, by the way. Same thing happened before. It's still working. Uh, <laughs> but uh, they come in with your, your starter ship and join the multi crew. It's a lot of fun and we'll all be able to earn lots of cash to get you new ships. And I have every capital in the game and just to earn down if I want a smaller one. And uh, I want to share that fun and hang out with you guys. Have a great day. I wish you well.